the monorail, the Autopia cars, and the famous Matterhorn bobsleds are all possible due to one man. I've always told people that when I was four or five years old, airplanes and cars were the big uh, passion. I sat down with Disney legend Bob Gurr to talk about his long career with the House of Mouse, dating back to 1954, where it all began. Well, the first contact I had with the uh, what would be the Walt Disney Company, in those days it was known as uh, the Walt Disney uh, Productions Studio out in uh, Burbank. It was just starting a new project uh, for an amusement park, uh, which eventually would be called Disneyland. And then later on, it would be referred to as theme parks. So there was no such thing as a theme park, no such thing uh, with the type of a park that would be a uh, Disneyland. And Walt Disney was doing this in addition to all the things that he'd done before to do primarily with uh, cartoons and films. So this was an entirely new venture. Gurr was hired by Walt Disney himself to begin building what was then unheard of at the time, the monorail. That's Walt Disney's secret weapon that uh, everybody was very aware of. He would hire people and then ask them to do something based upon his sense of what people could do. And that always surprised everybody that, uh, you know, collectively over the years we would look and say, God, how do we do that? We, you know, we were not trained for that stuff, but Walt asked us to do it, and lo and behold, we, we figured it out, and, and we actually got it done. People often refer to Gurr as the person responsible for anything at Disneyland with wheels, which includes many fan favorite attractions. What is that feeling like when you're walking and you're seeing people getting so much joy and excitement out of something that you built? Well, it's kind of an in internal thing. It's like, I know the background of how the job started. I know what it was like as we developed it. And I get to see people see it only the act, the end result of what it was without knowing the, the backstory. So uh, I, I always get kind of a chuckle to myself when uh, people enjoy, you know, the, the, the simple pleasure of enjoying an attraction, but without any of the detail that went into it. Because, you know, I, I alone would know all the trials and tribulations to get it up to that point. And the fact that the final configuration did work and it endures some of those attractions have gone, you know, decades still working, which means uh, Walt was right in telling us uh, what he wanted to do and, and why it would work well. And it does work well. Um, it, it's kind of a private joy. You can't really sit there and say, oh, I'm the greatest designer. Oh, this is wonderful. No, you can't do that. It's, you know, you can't brag like that. But, so it's, it's an internal joy. <laughs> Although Gurr has lived a long and successful life, he has no plans on slowing down at all in his future. Oh, I woke up this morning. Oh, well, there's, there's the first uh, joy right there. And then uh, I, I follow so many uh, industries and subjects on the uh, internet every day. Uh, I get, of course, I get a lot of fan mail. Everything's done by uh, email. Um, so the, the day is filled immediately with uh, following all the subjects I follow on a continuing uh, basis, uh, communicating uh, with people, a lot of historic questions. I have to go dig out some out of some of my archive to answer some of the questions. And of course, uh, I mountain bike uh, on the weekends as much as I can, go to the gym four or five uh, days a week. And then every spare minute I've got, I go out and fly one of my radio control helicopters or uh, radio controlled airplanes going around the world as much as I can. The next month I go to Turkey because I'd never been to Turkey before, and I'm going to ride a bus with a bunch of old people and see some history of Turkey. It just goes on and on and on, day after day. Next time you're taking a stroll through the Magic Kingdom, remember the man behind the wheel responsible for some of Disney's most popular attractions. I'm, I'm not the kind of old guy that can only think of uh, watching Jeopardy and playing golf. I just don't do that. <laughs>